I love Dying Rafa in the way that you love that weird uncle at the family gathering where it's like you sit there and you chill with them and you're like, oh my god, I'm having such a fun time. And then they just say something problematic and weird and you're just like, oh, why did you have to say that? You're a weirdo. Ooh. I care about these characters so much, but I feel like the writings, sometimes, honestly, sometimes the designs, they, they just, they do the characters so incredibly dirty. So today, I am going to be redesigning or more so like refreshing the designs of Aoi Asahina and Toko Fukawa. Aoi Asahina, my best friend! They can never make me hate you, Aoi. You will forever be famous. I love this girl so much. I will go to war for this character. I don't care if she sounds stupid sometimes. I don't care if she has cringy moments. She means so much to me. She is so precious. And it's it's so devastating because I feel like Dung Roba just kind of does her dirty. Like, I feel like sometimes she has really good moments. Like, you know, the smack with Togami where she Millie rocks him because he's talking bad about Sakura. Like, so true, so real. You're so awesome. And and the, her depressive episode, that, that sounds so weird to say, but like, I, I think it's so realistic to have her have this depressive episode after her friends are dead. Love it. Great. Mwah. But the, the, oh, she's so sexualized. It is so devastating. I, I think it's sad because I feel like a lot of her moments are overshadowed by the sexualization and it's so lame. Ugh. But anyways, next up is Toko Fukawa. Toko is one of those characters that I'm like, yeah, these are interesting concepts, Danganronpa, but what are you doing? Like, mmm, a character that's so filled with guilt that they don't like seeing their body, so they kind of stink. Mmm, banger. I like that idea. Especially because mental illness isn't exactly shown in a lot of media, and especially that side of mental illness. Love the concept. The idea that she's very unconventional, even in her personality. Mmm, love it, Danganronpa. Banger. But what is not a banger is the, the villainization of DID? Question mark? I don't even have to explain it. That was just... Uh, it, that was not a serve. I feel like the thing with Toko is that she could have just been a liar. Or if not a liar, you could have just made it like an addiction. Have it be uncontrollable in a way where it's like she has the option to control it, but it's hard for her to do it. Just what if we phrased it in a way where it's like Toko is almost addicted to murdering, but you can take steps to stop an addiction. You know what I mean? And her surviving could just have so much more emotions tied to it because you've seen this character go through hell and back to try to be better. And I, I just think that's just more compelling. I have an issue with her design in the same way that I have an issue with Sayaka's design. Put the school uniform away. Put it in the closet. I'm so sick and tired of seeing the school uniforms. They don't even add anything to her character. Don't get me wrong, I like the long skirt. I think that's a banger idea. But the top just, it just, it takes away too much from her character. Her character doesn't even relate to academics. Like, you, there's, there's no connection. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not, we're not doing it today. I do like her braids though. So I kept those in her design. Other than that, the only thing I really kept was the hair clip design that she has in, I think it's like Ultimate Ultimate Girl or something like that. I haven't played the game. I, I haven't like consumed any content from it. So I, I don't know the game, but I like the hair clips. I think that's a really interesting style design. I, I like it. It kind of gives off like that one dude from like Tokyo Ghoul, but I'm rocking with it because I rocked with that one dude. Yeah. I wanted her clothes to look very tattered, but like, in a way where it kind of looks stylish because I, I think it would just be really interesting if she doesn't really like it when people get like emotionally close to her mostly because it's like I know that when people are often like upset other people try to come up to them and be like are you okay Pookie? what is wrong? Um, and I think that after a while she will recognize this and because of that she would kind of style her clothes in a way that she looks okay that way she doesn't get too close to people and you know accidentally murder them Her 
Her design isn't terrible. I, I, I kind of like her design. And for that reason, I honestly didn't change a lot about her. Honestly, I felt like her design just didn't tell me a lot. She actually plays baseball, basketball, volleyball, tennis, track and field, and she swims. This girl, gifted and talented, she's living up to the ultimate title, dang! Um, but I felt like none of that was really shown in her design. She just kind of looks athletic. And what are those shoes? Like, they don't even match with her design. Why would they do her like that? So I, I, I just changed it. I changed her up. To show that she isn't swimming, I ended up giving her like this two-piece bathing suit type thing where she has like a red bathing suit underneath like the shirt that like ties up at the back. I also just give her goggles and with that I also give her like basketball shorts and she wears like this, I don't know what they're called, I don't know if they're like suppression socks or something like that. I saw a lot of like baseball and basketball players using them. So I put, I put them on her. I also just changed her jacket. I think she's wearing like a track jacket, but I just swapped it out for a varsity jacket because I feel like a varsity jacket can be associated with all of those sports. So I just gave her one of those. I thought it was cute. Other than that, I just changed her color. Probably Asahina. She's, she's the bubbliest character in this freaking game. And red, that's a... I don't know, the color, the color, the color symbolism just does not work there. Also, there's just so many red characters in Danganronpa, bro. Like, 75% of the characters have red on them, and it's like, bruh, it, that, that, bruh. <laughs> like, it's, it's okay to not have red in a design. Make her yellow. But other than that, I have nothing to say. The yapper has finished yapping. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. I don't mind. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for next week's video, please leave them down below. I genuinely really appreciate it. With that being said, stay safe, have a great day, and of course, don't die. <laughs> See you later.